Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you are returning, welcome back. Everyone, make sure you click that notification bell so that you are not missing any of my videos that I upload. You guys have been checking out my tutorials for roller skating and I absolutely love it. I absolutely love your comments, your questions, your requests. I will be going through your questions, your comments, and your requests to see what I can do to help you guys more successful on your roller skates. So let's go ahead and head to the comments and see what I can do for you. Okay, I have a really good one here. This one is from Joyce G. Hi, beginner skater, just got my first pair of skates and determined to get over the fear of falling. I'm having a problem bending my knees because my back feels uncomfortable and tiring. How can I overcome this issue? What am I not doing right? Okay, Joyce, and everybody else watching this video, remember what I said in the first tutorial. It's going to happen at some point of your roller skating journey, you are going to fall. So what I'm going to do for you guys is actually break it down to the basics on how exactly you should prepare yourself if and or when you fall. Let's head over to the grass. So I brought you guys over here to the grass because I think that the grass is one of the best places to practice roller skating before you're out on the concrete or in the rink or anywhere else. It's one of the greatest places because you're on grass, you're able to walk and you're able to practice falling. Joyce basically had two questions in one. So let's get started with the first one. How do you get rid of the fear of falling? Honestly, I think the best way to get over the fear is to actually either practice falling consistently or once you have fallen, your confidence will get better because it's already happened and you know what to expect. But what I wanna do is show you how to actually try your best to remember how to fall properly if you do fall. Okay, so when you feel like you are about to fall, remember what I always tell you guys, the number one rule is to bend those knees, okay? So if you feel like you're falling and you're bending your knees, you're already halfway down. So if you feel like you're falling, bend those knees and try your best to fall forward. Tiff, why do I fall forward? When you're falling forward, you have your hands to stop you and you don't have to worry about the risk of falling backwards, hurting your back, hurting your head, or any of that. So let's put that into action. You're skating and you're skating. Oh no, I'm going to fall. My knees are already bent. I'm gonna fall to the ground and I'm able to stop myself. Now try not to stop yourself by locking your arms if you can handle it. Cause then you're like this and then you're gonna hurt your elbow or hurt your any other areas that you don't want to hurt. But at least you've tried to fall either forward or to the side. Let me show you what it looks like if you fall backwards. Whoa, I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna fall. You see what's happening right away. You're rolling, you're flailing, you're panicking and your back already hurts because you're crunching here. And then if you were to fall backwards, you have no protection. You're falling straight back on your back. So that's why it's very, very important to first bend those knees, catch yourself and fall forward. Another very, very important tip also is when you feel like you're falling, keep the weight in your toes as well. Because when you're keeping the weight in your toes, not only are you activating those toe stops, but you're able to fall forward more as opposed to rolling back on your heels and rolling and falling backwards. Does that make sense? Now let's put this into action and practice falling on a harder surface. Okay, I'm skating, I'm skating, I'm skating. Uh oh, I feel like I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna fall. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna bend my knees, get on my toes and fall forward. I'm skating, I'm skating. Oh no, there's a branch. <gasps> Whoa, okay, I'm rolling, I'm rolling, I'm stopping bending my knees, weight is in my toes, but this time I'm gonna try to fall to the side. See, let's try what you shouldn't do next. Oh no, I'm going backwards. Oh no, the weight is not in my toes, so I'm really going down. Oh, my back. Oh, I've fallen. We don't wanna do that. Now that we're already down here, it's very important to know how to get back up, right? I briefly went over this in my first tutorial video, but for those of you who are watching this video for the first time or watching my channel for the first time, I'm gonna show you guys how to get up on your roller skates once you've fallen very easily. 
Oh no, I've fallen. How do I get up? There's no one here to help me get up. Okay, here's what you do. This is the easiest way that I like to get up if I fall. Roll over to the side. Use those toe stops. Come onto the toe stop. Use your hands. Keep your knees bent as much as possible. Get on that other toe stop and slowly walk your way back up. One more thing before we move on to the next question from Joyce is I want to show you guys, not necessarily if you fall, but if you've gone too fast, like down a hill or something, or if you feel like you're going way too fast and you cannot control it, if there's grass or a soft space near you, I'm gonna show you how to try your best to fall on a softer surface. Let's do it. I'm going really fast. Uh oh, oh, there's grass. Run, 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 run. So if you feel like you're losing your balance or if you feel like you've gone way too fast and there's a softer surface, simply pick your feet up and run. So that is also why we love to have our warm-ups before we start skating because things like that could happen and you're able to pick up your knees with no problem at all because you've already warmed up. Next, Joyce, you are having a problem bending your knees and it's starting to hurt your back and it is becoming very tiring. So let's try to fix that. So right before you're roller skating, whether you're going out for five minutes or for an hour to practice roller skating, you guys have to warm up. I have some really great warm up videos for you guys in my roller skating playlist on my channel. So make sure you check those out. But it's very, very important to make sure you're warming up your body so that you can try to avoid injury of your back, your neck, your shoulders, your legs, etc., as much as possible. Ask yourself this question when you start roller skating. Am I skating straight? Because here, if I'm skating straight, I already feel the tension in my lower back. So that's the first thing. Make sure you're not skating here. I know people skate like this when they're just brand new on their roller skates, but you guys have to bend your knees. Otherwise, you will feel tired quicker because you're, tr you're so tense and you're really nervous about falling that you can eventually even fall backwards if you're so tense. Loosen up. Only skate on surfaces that you feel comfortable skating on, okay? So now let's put this into action. Let's skate relaxed versus tense. All right, my knees are bent. I'm nice and relaxed. No tensity anywhere. I don't know if tensity is a word, but you guys know what I mean. <laughs> let's do it again. Okay, you see, I'm very tense right now. I can barely move actually. This might be a little over exaggerated too, but some people do skate like this, you guys. You have to relax. The moment I started skating like that, see, it almost made me fall over. So, you have to relax, you guys. Let's see it again. Woo! It's already feeling the tension in my back. My shoulders are not relaxed. And I can't really move that great. Relaxed, tense. Relaxed, tense. Don't forget to check out my boutique. This is actually one of my favorite shirts from my shop. I love to have good vibes when I'm roller skating in the sunshine. So make sure you guys check it out. Link to the boutique is in the description below. Use the discount code that I have there so that you guys can save some money. 
on this Good Vibes Always shirt. Thank you guys once again, and I will see you next time.